Welcome to Leaning Towards Six Sigma. This is based on publicly available information, an article and also the documentary I have recently watched uh, on Netflix uh, about Boeing and their downfall. There are serious lessons to be learned from Boeing in terms of how the organization fall from grace when they shift from the core value because every organization has certain core values. The moment you change it and you move the focus from the core value to the other non-essentials, uh, which will not drive the organization. That's what we are going to look at. Let's look at further in-depth analysis of Boeing and its downfall. Now, the content of this particular blog, uh, as I have listed here, the Boeing story, uh, a quick history of Boeing story about their values. Of course, Boeing is known to everybody. I don't need to introduce for that matter. And the mishap of uh, airplanes, a uh, couple of airplanes in 2018 and 19, especially the one uh, Boeing 737. And what went wrong and what kind of a lesson we can learn from Boeing. And even the Boeing had to learn that lesson. I'm not sure whether they have learned it. But nevertheless, those are all important corporate uh, lessons to be learned by everyone. Let's look at it. These are some of the values uh, uh, given by Boeing especially the quality, safe, safety and trust. And they have demolished, rather they have dismantled all this over a period of time systemically and systematically to make sure that they make profits. The profit was the only motive and the corporate value. And because of that, uh, there were a couple of incidents, accidents happened 2018 and 2019. Let's look at it. The Boeing has essentially done uh, shifting from uh, the core value. When I say core value of Boeing is safety. The focus has shifted from safety to profit and creating uh, Wall Street shareholder value. That's what happened. And that, how that impacted the organization is the point of focus. The first mishap happened during 2018 and the, in, in, in Indonesia, just after 13 minutes after takeoff. And this was one of the worst tragedy in the airline industry and specifically for Boeing. But uh, whether the Boeing consider it that way, absolutely not. Boeing didn't consider uh, uh, any way, uh, you know, they are responsible for it. Instead, uh, Boeing blamed the pilots and their training and their qualifications, the country they are from and their incompetence, the pilots incompetence and so on and so forth. They even said that in US this wouldn't have happened because in US the pilots know how to operate in such conditions. They never questioned any part of airplane design, only the operational part of it uh, without any data officially. And then finally they said official response uh, was finally, we are looking at it, getting the data and, and so on. They, let's wait for it. They were blaming the Indonesian crew uh, but actually the crew, the pilot, was trained in US only. Uh, so this was uh, the way the uh, Boeing reacted it. And let's look at some more facts why the plane went down. The main reason uh, for that particular accident was MCA's failure, the malfunction that controlled the plane. In fact, that sent the erroneous data and then it took over the control from the pilots and pilots couldn't do anything. In fact, no one knew what is what is happening because pilots were not trained, pilots were not informed uh, because Boeing withheld that information from pilots uh, be because this particular feature, if they had incorporated as a new feature, they should have got the uh, process, they should have done the process of uh, approvals from the regulatory authorities, uh, regulatory authorities and as well as they should have trained uh, pilots across the globe. They wanted to save the cost and uh, and also wanted to speed up the process the speed and the cost were the motive and they co and they uh, compromise the uh, safety of the passengers that's exactly what has happened but post this mishap the chorus was from everybody saying ground the plane because there's a safety issue but boeing's response was we are working on this trust us the the, the statement trust is too big uh, a statement it's not just a word and even during the interview the former president and ceo said 737 max is safe and he made it categorically so still the plane is uh, operational 
Then comes the next unfortunate. Within five months after the first crash of uh, Lion Air, uh, and this was happened in uh, Ethiopia. And uh, but between these two mishaps, uh, in fact, the Boeing said that the pilots pilots need to switch it off when erroneously it sends the signal and so on and so forth. In this case, pilot pilots did what Boeing was asked them to do. They did switch it off, but still the plane crashed. So nobody knew why it had happened. So they said still waiting for the data. But two airlines within five months, and I don't think so in 21st century anybody will agree. So they said the Boeing said still we are waiting for the data. But Chinese, Chinese in fact grounded all the aircrafts unilaterally and, fo and followed by all other countries started grounding all the airplanes 737. Then there was a meeting from Boeing saying there is a training to be given by the Boeing executive on MCAS, considering you know all this uh, seriousness of the cases. And but somebody observed, in fact, during the documentation talks about it. When they came for the training, they brought lobbies and to the safety briefings and the training. There was a question, and I was raised, why during the safety training lobbies are required? And finally, they didn't have any prepared uh, document or the response. They just said there is a software glitch and the, the, this software can be fixed in six weeks time and we will make it happen. And everyone made an observation that in six weeks, nothing get done. And uh, during that six weeks or till they fix it, Boeing didn't agree again to ground the flights. They said it's fit for uh, uh, you know, operation and so on and so forth. They never agreed to it. And my question is, in 21st century, two crashes in just five months is unacceptable. But uh, Boeing said we are still waiting for the uh, data and so on and so forth. The, finally, the findings, if you look at why these two mishaps happened, and they started investigating it seriously and asking documents from Boeing what happened and so on and so forth. And the investigation reveals the systemic failure and core value shift caused the steady decline of safety and trust within Boeing. First of all, within Boeing, there were many serious violations and compromises on safety practices and so on led to these uh, accidents. So that's that's what the investigation shows. Let's look at first. Boeing's core, core value uh, is safety and trust. That cannot change. Safety and trust cannot follow profits. Profits to follow the safety and uh, trust, isn't it? But they put the profit as the center and the rest of them as the secondary. That's the reason why you know, Boeing has faced what they had to face it. In fact, one of the wise of employees, they said earlier, if there was something not right, they, they never afraid to raise it. If anywhere in the overall value chain or the processes, anybody can raise their hand and say, hey, here there is a problem here. We have to fix it. They fix it and move on. But later, since they changed the value system to profits first, so they said, OK, no, let's ignore it. Let's not document it. Let's move on. So if the messenger also the messenger is fired and they ignore the message as well. This shows slowly and decisively the organization Boeing change the culture, the fundamental fabric of uh, the culture which used to focus on safety, moved to profits and everybody had to behave it the same way. So they wanted to create value on the Wall Street. Even somebody made an observation, even in the technical meetings, they used to discuss about stock prices and value creation, but nothing on the safety. That reflected on the two mishaps and that reflected on their safety records. Now the voice of employees to, in a summary, Earlier, the Boeing, no shortcuts earlier, before. Boeing known for doing it right and profits will follow, but they changed everything, so which means the Boeing got it all wrong. Then the next uh, blow to Boeing, in fact, from the competitor, the nearest competitor was Airbus. So they brought uh, the best fuel efficient aircraft. But the question is whether Boeing had anything such, such aircraft. They didn't have any such aircraft. So what did they do? In response to Airbus uh, competition for the fuel efficient aircraft, what Boeing did, they decided to use existing 737 and they keep continuing maintaining the same stand that 737 is safe to travel and with bigger engines, fuel efficient engines and the bigger flights to accommodate more number of passengers and build aircrafts more faster than quality. In fact, they compromised on quality. 
the earlier uh, Boeing uh, as a corporate, they were uh, very focused on the quality defects and whenever anybody raises the alarm and immediately they used to fix the errors. Now they said they silented, um, they made the messenger silent and even fired and many people got the pink slips and these are the practices uh, prevalent and rampant in Boeing. That's what the concern is all about. Finally, what are the takeaways? Boeing wanted to push the order to release faster. They wanted to produce as many aircrafts as possible and earn more money. In the process, they wanted to focus on profit and compromise on safety. And instead of fixing the problems and forcing the employees to speed it up and just move on and also quit listening to their employees and fired the messengers and ignore the messages and quality was out of the picture. Anyone raising an issue, anyone raising a problem fired or let go. And also they didn't want to document any of this to take corrective actions because they wanted to deny any such thing has happened. So which is fundamental shift from safety and trust to profits and Boeing ignored the lack of accountability. Lack of accountability was there, but Boeing ignored it and customer life, especially safety, trust. I guess Boeing got it all wrong. Finally, what Boeing ignored a balanced view and moving from core value, fire the messenger, ignore the message, profit comes first attitude and not listening to their employees and, and many more. These are the fundamental things the, which they did it wrong and putting the customer first focus on core value culture of quality is what they need to focus thank you for your time until we meet with another interesting blog keep exploring leaning towards six sigma